Did you know that CUDA was released in 2007, and it's been there for more than 18 years now? It is also the most popular programming model for running your programs on NVIDIA GPUs. Since NVIDIA GPUs are widely used in running AI applications, many companies ask questions about CUDA in their technical interviews. So if you are looking for a job in data science, deep learning, or high-performance computing, this video is for you. This video will cover the top 10 questions on CUDA asked in interviews. With this, let us begin with our first question. Our first question is, what is CUDA and how does it work? To answer this, we say that CUDA is NVIDIA's parallel computing platform and programming model that allows developers to use NVIDIA GPUs for general purpose processing. It provides extensions to C or C++ so programmers can write functions called kernels that run on the GPU in parallel across many threads. Now let's examine the second question. Explain kernels in CUDA with an example. In CUDA, a kernel is a special function written in C or C++ that runs on the GPU and is executed in parallel by many threads. It is declared with the global qualifier and is called from the CPU but executed on the GPU. The key characteristics of CUDA kernels are that each thread runs an instance of the kernel function. Kernels are launched with a grid of thread blocks. And you, as a programmer, define how many threads and blocks to use during the kernel launch. You can give the following code as an example for a CUDA kernel and its kernel launch syntax. Our next question is, what is the difference between a thread, block, and grid in CUDA? Here we can say that. A thread is a single execution unit executing a kernel. A block is a group of threads that share the GPU's shared memory and can synchronize with each other, and a grid is a collection of blocks. All blocks in a grid can execute the same kernel. The figure here shows how thread, block, and grid are arranged within the CUDA kernel. The next question is, what are the different types of memory in CUDA? Here, there are five main types of memory that CUDA has. Global memory, which is accessible by all threads but is slow to access. Shared memory, which is fast and accessible within a block. Local memory, which is private to a thread for register spills. Constant memory, which is read-only memory shared across threads. The last is texture memory, which is cached and optimized for two-dimensional and three-dimensional access. The next question is, how do you optimize memory access in CUDA kernels? To answer this, we can add points like using coalesced access for global memory, leverage shared memory to reduce latency, avoid bank conflicts in shared memory, minimize CPU-GPU memory transfer. Check out our CUDA programming course to learn more about these points. The link is in the description of the video. The next question is, what is warp divergence and how does it affect performance? Here we start with what a warp is in CUDA. A warp in CUDA is a group of 32 threads that executes instructions in a lockstep manner. If threads in a warp take different execution paths, for example, in an if statement, they must serialize the paths, reducing parallel efficiency. In this example, every even thread of a warp will execute an if statement, and every odd thread of a warp will execute an else statement. Hence, there is a warp divergence here. The next question is, what is the role of sync threads? Sync threads act as a barrier to synchronization within a thread block. All threads within a thread block must reach it before any are allowed to proceed, which is essential when using shared memory to avoid race conditions. Here we can add the following example. In this code snippet, sync threads will ensure that all the threads within the same thread block have updated the shared var variable before moving ahead. The next question is, how do you handle memory allocation and data transfer between CPU and GPU? To answer this, we can say that CUDA uses CUDA malloc to allocate memory on the GPU and CUDA mem copy to transfer the data between the CPU and the GPU, for example, in the following code snippet, pointer, d underscore data, points to the memory location on the GPU allocated using CUDA malloc and data is transferred between d underscore data and h underscore data using CUDA mem copy. Note that d underscore data is on the GPU and h underscore data is on the CPU. The next question is, what tools can you use to profile and debug CUDA code? Some well-known tools to profile and debug the CUDA code are Nsight Systems and Nsight Compute, CUDA GDB, and NVProf. You can explore these tools more in NVIDIA's official documentation. The last question is, what are some common performance pitfalls in CUDA? Some standard performance pitfalls in CUDA are uncoalesced global memory access, warp divergence, excessive synchronization, inefficient memory transfer between CPU and GPU, and underutilization of threads or blocks. You can learn more about each of them in the CUDA programming course link provided in the video description. Thanks for watching.